I'm going to start by showing you how to make this on the Moog because that's what Bernie used in Flashlight and it's a really easy way to get that nice fat analog sound. But then I'm going to show you how to do it on another synth with less and less analog features and show you how you can get really close. So we'll start with a plain saw. Now we're going to take our first oscillator, we're going to bring it down an octave. And we're gonna change our waveform from saw to square. And on the Moog, it's not a perfect square. It's a little narrower than a square. So you get a bit more of a, you know, medium-ish pulse kind of sound, which is a little bit brighter, a little bit buzzier. Next up, we're gonna bring an oscillator too. So let's turn that on. And we're gonna turn it up almost all the way. And we wanna keep this one at an octave above our first one. Same waveform, we get. And then we're going to detune it just slightly so we don't have this perfect static sound. So we'll go from this to this. A little bit of subtle movement in there so it's not quite as stiff sounding. Next up, we'll take our low pass filters cut off and bring it down. Then we're going to take this emphasis knob, which is our filter's resonance, and bring it up a little bit just to sharpen the sound a bit. Next, we want to get more of that rich, fat analog filter sound. We're going to do that with what is basically filter drive, but Moog uses this more complicated kind of feedback system because that's what they had at the time they made this synth many, many years ago. Simply just turn this switch to out, and we're going to increase this external input volume, which is feeding our output back into the synth, driving the filter more and more. It really pushes out the low end and kind of takes a bit off the top. And so there's your sound. Now we just got to add some vibrato triggered by the mod wheels so you can bring in that woo whenever we want to. Now there's two ways to do this on the Moog. There is the original way, which is kind of complicated. It uses the third oscillator. But Arturia here has also added a more typical sort of LFO system that you would normally see on today's synth. So we're going to use that. Switch over to modulation, set our LFO, and we're going to modulate VCO12FM, which is another way of saying the pitch of oscillator one and two. Now this will give us vibrato. We need it to be faster. And we only want to trigger it once in a while with the mod wheel. So let's bring it back down. And then we'll set up the mod wheel here to modulate the LFO amount. Let's bring the amount about here. And then we got to do one more thing here in the mode. We got to turn off this oscillator modulation because by default, the mod wheel will trigger this frequency modulation, which is a whole other thing. So now if we turn our mod wheel up, we can play lines like, Okay, so there's our sound, but what if you don't have a Moog emulator? What if you have some other synth? Let me show you some ways we can get that sound. Now we're gonna use Serum for this. And the first thing I want you to look for is see if there are some analog style features built into it. Some synths that aren't, you know, built as analog style synths actually have some analog emulation options. So for example, Serum has this basic MG wavetable. These are Moog style waveforms because in an analog synth, waveforms aren't perfect looking like this is a pulse wave right usually you know you'd see this flat line here and a flat line here but it's slanted that's the nature of analog waveforms so that's going to help us get a moog sound and then the filter this is the most important part this is a moog style filter it's what the mg stands for and we have drive right that's that was that external feedback system in the moog but it's simpler in modern day since just a drive knob so now we get Sounds pretty great, right? Okay, but let's say the synth you're using doesn't have these Moog or other analog style emulations in it. Here we have Serum again, but we've switched out of those Moog emulations. We have basic shapes now in our waveform. Like this is the kind of pulse wave you're normally used to seeing. I've adjusted the pulse width modulation down here just to be slightly less than square. And we have a regular low pass filter. Now, you do want to make sure that this low pass filter is 24 dB. That gives us a nice sharp cutoff here. And then we got our drive turned up. And what is our sound? Compare it to the original Mini Moog. So 
That's pretty darn close, right? Let's take it one step further though. Let's say you don't have the drive option in your sim. Here we have Serum again, but I've removed the drive and I've made some other adjustments and now listen. Still sounds pretty good. So what did I do? Because look at this drive, it's all the way down. When you turn this up, you get that low end fatness and you take off some height. So we could do that in another way, right? First, I took this higher oscillator and I lowered its volume. It was up here. Bring it down and right out the bat, you get a slightly rounder sound. But what about boosting that low end? Well, you could just use an EQ, right? Let's switch over here. I've got an EQ at around 200 Hertz, a really wide Q, and then just a little bit of gain. And listen to what this is doing. Hear that? But just a little bit, and you get that slight boost in the low end, and you end up with... Very good.